Siriban, formerly referred to as Cheriban in English, is a port city on the north coast of the Indonesian island of Java. It is located in the province of West Java near the provincial border with Central Java, approximately 297 kilometers (185 miles) east of Jakarta at 6 degrees 43 S 108 degrees 34 E. The administrative area of Siriban is very small in extent, however, its dense suburbs sprawl into the surrounding regency. The official metropolitan area encompasses this regency as well as the city, and covers an area of 1,021.88 square kilometers, 394.55 square miles, with a 2010 census population of 2,366,340. The seat of a former sultanate, the city's west and central Java border location have seen its history influenced by both Sundanese and Javanese culture as well as Arab and Chinese. History The sultanate court lies near the modern-day city of Siriban on West Java. S. North Coast. Throughout the 16th and 17th centuries, the sultanate thrived and became the region s center of trade and commerce, as well as served as an Islamic learning and dissemination center. The Sultanate split into four royal houses, starting in 1677. Today there are four Kratons palaces in Siriban, Keratin Kasepuhan, Kratin Kanoman, Keratin Kasirabonan, and Keratin Keprabonan, each has its own lineage and all are the descendants and remnants of the Siriban Sultanate. According to the manuscript Perwaka Karuban Nagari, in 15th century Siriban started as a small fishing village named Muarajati. At that time the port of Muarajati already attracted foreign traders. The port master at that time is Ki Geding Alang Alang who's appointed by the King of Gala Kingdom located inland in Kawali, Chamas. He moved the port to Lamawankuk, 5 kilometers 3.1 miles southward. As the new settlement leader, Ki Geting Alang Alang was bestowed the title, Kuwu Serban, Serban village leader. A 15th century prince from Pajajaran, Prince Wilangsungsang, converted to Islam, and was appointed as the Adipati Duke of Siriban with the title Kakrabumi. He established the new kingdom of Siriban and declared independence from Sunda and Gala. The establishment of Siriban Sultanate marked the first Islamic rule in western Java, that grew from modest fishing village of Muarajati to a busy port of Java northern coast. Siriban grew as one of the independent sultanates under the leadership of Sunan Guningjati, in the early 16th century. After the Sunda Kingdom collapsed, the sultanates of Banten and Mataram fought control over Siriban, which declared its allegiance to Sultan Agong of Mataram. But the later his grandson Amankarat II ceded the city to the Dutch in the 1677. A treaty in 1705 saw the Siriban area west of Sisingaring River became a Dutch protectorate jointly administered by three sultans whose courts rivaled those of central Java. The Dutch authorities later established the Siriban residence, Residenta Gyerban, which composed of present-day Siriban, Indramayu, and Cunningen, during the time of the Dutch culture system. A flourishing trade in colonial cash crops attracted many Chinese entrepreneurs and the Chinese influence is still evident in the batik for which Siriban is famous. Siriban suffered a famine in 1844, apparently triggered by a combination of drought and the shift from subsistence agriculture to cash crops, particularly indigo and sugarcane, enforced by Dutch's cultivation system. Etymology being on the border of Sundanese i.e., West Java and Javanese i.e., Central Java cultural regions, many of Sirban's residents speak a dialect that is a mix of Sundanese and Javanese, known as Jawara. It is thought that the word, Siriban, derives from the Javanese word, Karuban, meaning, mixed, a reference to the city's mix of Sundanese, Javanese, Chinese, and Arabic cultural elements. Alternatively, it could be derived from the Sundanese words. Sea, water or river, and Reban, shrimp. Indeed, the main product of the city is fish including shrimp. Administrative divisions Siriban is divided into five subdistricts Kakamatan, Harjamukti, Kajaksan, Kesambi. Lamawankuk Pakalapan 
Demographics The city's population was 298,224 at the Indonesia Census of 2010. As with other coastal cities in Indonesia, a large population of ethnic Chinese has flocked into the city as a result of long-term Chinese immigration since the 17th century. Significant suburbs lie within densely populated Siriban Regency, and the official metropolitan area encompasses this entire regency as well as the city. Although surrounded by Sundanese-speaking areas in West Java, linguists have stated clearly that Siriban and the historically related region of Sarang City in Banten Province are inside its own Serebanese language area. In addition, this is supported by a large portion of the Siriban people referring to themselves as Wang Siriban, Serebanese people, and to their language as Basa Siriban, Serebanese. Serebanese language is related to Javanese and Banyumasan with dialects such as the Jawara, Pleard, and Dermayan. Culture Siriban itself is known as Grage in the Siriban dialect of Javanese language, which came from the words Nagara Gid, meaning Great Kingdom. As a port city, Siriban attracts visitors and settlers from elsewhere in Indonesia and from other nations as well. Siriban culture was described as Java Pasisiran coastal culture, similar to the cultures of Banten, Pekalongan, and Semarang, with notable mixtures of Sundanese, Chinese, Arabic Islamic, and European influences. Arts and crafts Batik textiles from Siriban, especially Siriban batik with vivid colors with motifs and patterns, that demonstrate Chinese and local influences, are well known. Chinese influences can be seen in Sirban's culture, most notably the Siriban batik megamendung pattern that resembles Chinese cloud imagery. The Trusmi area is the production center of Siriban batik. Siriban glass painting is another aspect of Siriban arts and crafts. The imagery in glass painting is usually derived from Wayang theme to Islamic calligraphy. Performing arts the Tari Toping Siriban, or Siriban Mask Dance, is a dance style peculiar to the city. Toping Siriban Mask Dance, inspired by Javanese Panji cycles is one of notable Siriban traditional dance and quite famous within Indonesian dances. Siriban culture is also influenced by Islamic Middle Eastern culture, such as the Barokan tradition where people exhibit the image of Barak, Traditionally made from bamboo frame and paper skin, or other materials, in processions around the village accompanied with music. The traditions of the bamboo statues born in these processions is similar to Sundanese Sisingan, Batawi Andel Andel, or Balinese Ogo Ogo processions, yet differ in their Islamic theme. Barokan are usually held during festive occasions such as circumcision or marriage, and are accompanied by popular Siriban folk songs, such as Tarling. Tarling is a musical tradition reminiscent of Bandung's Kachapi Suling music with except that it features guitar, Suling bamboo flute, and voice. The name derived from jitter, guitar, and Suling flute. Sports Siriban is the home town of the PSGJ Siriban football team, the club plays in the Liga Nusantara. Another team, Siriban Football Club, the team also plays in the Liga Nusantara is based in the Bima Stadium Siriban. Other popular sports in Siriban include futsal. Court culture The remnants of Siriban Sultanate, Kasepuhan, Kanoman, Kaprabonan, and Kasirabonan Kratons are now run as cultural institutions to preserve Siriban culture. Each still hold their traditional ceremonies and have become the patrons of Siriban arts. Some of the royal symbols of Siriban Sultanate describe their legacy and influences. The banner of Siriban Sultanate is called Makan Ali. Ali's panther, with Arabic calligraphy arranged to resemble a panther or tiger. These indicate both Islamic influence and that of the Hindu Pajajaran Sundanese king Siliwangi. S. Tiger Banner. The royal lineage of Siriban is still well respected and is held in high prestige among the people of Siriban, although it does not hold real political power anymore. The Royal Carriage of Kasepuhan. 
S. Singa Barong and Kanoman. S. Paxi Naga Liman carriage resembles the chimera of three animals, eagle, elephant, and dragon. These symbolize Indian Hinduism, Arabic Islam, and Chinese influences. The images of Makan Ali, Singa Barong and Paxi Naga Liman are also often featured as patterns in Siriban Batik. Cuisine As a coastal city, Sirban's main industry is fishery. Its products include tarasi, shrimp paste, pettis, krupak udang, shrimp crackers, and various salted fish. Siriban is famous for its good quality salted fishes, such as jambal roti, juhi, salted cuttlefish, riban and evi, dried small shrimp. These products are often sought by visitors, especially Indonesian domestic tourists and visitors from other cities, as ole ole, food souvenirs, gift. Siriban is also known for its local cuisines and delicacies, such as empal gentong, a kind of meat and offal curry, mie koklok, chicken noodle soup made from coconut milk, nasi lenko, rice mixed with bean sprouts, fried tofu, fried tempeh, topped with peanut sauce and soy sauce, nasi jambling, rice of various side dishes, tahu gejert, fried tofu with ground garlic, chili and shallot, topped with thin and sweet soy sauce, tahu pettis, dry fried tofu served with pettis dip sauce, tahu tek tek, fried tofu topped with peanut sauce and mixed with vegetables, and ayam pongong, barbecue chicken. Another native food is dakang, lontong with sour vegetable soup. Economy Siriban city economy is influenced by its strategic geographical location and by the characteristics of natural resources. Thus, the structure of its economy is dominated by manufacturing, trade, hotels and restaurants, transport and communications and service sectors. Tomei Pires in the Suma Oriental around the year 1513 mentioned Siriban was one of the trade centers on the island of Java. After Siriban was taken over by the Dutch East Indies government in 1859, it was designated as a transit port for import-export goods and as a communications route to the political control center for the region in the interior of Java. Until 2001, the economic contribution to the city of Siriban was characterized by processing industry 41.32% followed by trade, hotels and restaurants 29.8%, transport and communications sector 13.56%, and services sector 6.06%. Other sectors 9.26% included mining, agriculture, construction, electricity, and gas. Aside from fishery, its harbor, Tanjung Emas, on the Java Sea has been a major hub for timber from Borneo. A small landing site, the Kakravawana Airport in Penging, Harjamukti Subdistrict also serves the TNIO. The city lies on Jalur Pantara, Pantai Utara Jawa, a major road on the northern coast of Java that stretches from Enir, passes through Jakarta, and ends at Surabaya. Port of Siriban the port of Siriban was established by the Dutch in 1865, principally as an export point for spices, sugar cane and raw materials from West Java. Warehouses and open storage areas were developed by 1890, and a British-American tobacco cigarette factory was built in the early 20th century. Port activity is dominated by bulk imports of coal, liquid asphalt and vegetable oils for the West Java hinterland. Until 2002, the port also catered for minor container trade and cruise shipping. In 2006 the port handled 3.27 million metric tons MT of trade, more than 90% as imports from others Indonesian ports. Cityscape Public service Nearly 93% of the population has been underserved by service water from PDAM Siriban. The majority of customers in the city's water supply to households, 90.37% or as many as 59,006 of the total number of existing connections, 65,287. Health since the Dutch East Indies government, Siriban City has had a hospital named Orange, which unveiled its use on August 31, 1921 and commenced operations from September 1, 1921. 
In 2009 in the city of Siriban has been available about six general hospitals, four maternity hospitals, 21 health centers, 15 health centers made, 20 mobile health center, and 81 pharmacies and drug stores 31. With the number of medical personnel such as specialist doctors about 94 people, and 116 general practitioners, 37 dentists, 847 nurses and 278 midwives. Tourism As one tourist destination in West Java, Siriban City offers many charms ranging from a historical tour of the Royal Glory of Islam, the story of the trustees, complex sun and gunning jati in Mount Sembing about 24 kilometers 15 miles to the west of the city center, Great Mosque of Siriban, Takwa Mosque, Temple Ancient Buildings and Relics of Netherlands. Siriban is a palace at the same time in the city, namely Keratin Kasepuhan and Kanoman. Everything has architecture a combination of elements culture Islam, China, and Netherlands. Characteristic of the palace buildings are always facing northern and there is a mosque nearby. Each palace has square as a gathering place, market and sculpture tiger in park or page forward as a symbol of King Siliwini, the central character formation sultanate of Siriban. Another feature is the plate porcelain original china or so trimmer wall. Some dishes supposedly derived from Europe when Siriban support trade center island Java. Siriban City Park has some of them Waterpark Sanyaragi and Park of Aid Irma Suryani. Waterparks Sanyaragi have technology flow water advanced in his time, the water flow between the terraces where the princess king preening, page grass green where the night practice, plus tower and room privilege that door was made of curtain water. Orientation and places The main boulevard is Jalan Siliwingi. It runs from the train station to the canal via the Pasar Pagi. Morning Market then the street becomes Jalan Karangades along which are most of Siriban's banks, restaurants, and hotels. There are a number of historic buildings and other key sites in Siriban, some of them in an advanced state of decay. These include the buildings of the several Kratons, the Sang Cipta Rasa Gran Mosque, and the Gua Sanyaragi Park. Wali Songo, especially Sun and Gunning Jati, is known to have influenced the city. S. History. Sun and Gunning Jati's grave is located several kilometers outside the city in the Gunning Jati district. There are two temples and a cave system built by two Chinese architects around the 1880s, decorated by Chinese and Western porcelain. The village of Trusmi, about 5 kilometers outside of Siriban, has been noted for batik production. Plangan is a habitat of monkeys. Mount Sarame, the highest peak in West Java, is a large volcano situated about 40 kilometers 25 miles to the south of Siriban. Parks and other tourist spots on the slopes of Mount Sarame are popular places for groups from Siriban to visit during weekends to escape from the hotter climate on the coast. The village of Lingajati, near the town of Silamis, where the Lingajati Agreement was signed, is one such place. Public transportation brings tourists and visitors here. Twin towns, sister cities Siriban has sister relationships with a number of towns worldwide Atlanta, United States Seoul, South Korea Suwon, South Korea Jeonju, South Korea Waezong, South Korea Busan, South Korea Moscow, Russia Brisbane, Australia Melbourne, Australia Bandung, Indonesia Palembang, Indonesia Dublin, Republic of Ireland Pekinbaru, Indonesia Gold Coast, Australia Notable people See more at Category, People from Siriban Campaign for Siriban Province 
Some of the local political elite in Siriban and surrounding regencies have campaigned for Siriban City, together with the regencies of Siriban, Indramayu, Cunningham and Majalenka to be established as a new province, in the same way as Bantan Province was formed by splitting it away from West Java. To be a new province it is required that it should be proposed by at least five regencies. Leaders from four of these administrations have given their consent, but Cunningham and Majalenka Regency has turned down the idea and indicated that it would prefer to stay part of West Java. However, the lack of support from the Cunningham and Majalenka area does not preclude Siriban City and the other two regencies from continuing to promote the idea. The potential size and population of this possible province would be as follows. Gallery See also List of cities in Indonesia Footnotes Further reading Graf, H. J. de Hermanus Johannes de Graf, 1899, Chinese Muslims in Java in the 15th and 16th centuries, the Malay Annals of Semarang and Serban, translated and provided with comments by H. J. de Graf and Theodore Gautier Thomas Pigo, edited by M. C. Rickliffs. Publisher, Melbourne, Monash University, 1984. Description, XIII, 221p, folded map, 21 cm. ISBN 0-86746-419-4, Series, Monash Papers on Southeast Asia, No. 12 Salendraningrad, P.S. 1985. Sajara Siriban, Jakarta, Balai Pustaka, OCLC 246515112. External links Official site Media online